So if you've been paying attention, you may have noticed the rise in social bots used to influence public opinion, the stock market, and even political campaigns. These algorithms have become increasingly sophisticated and more difficult to detect. So as the presidential election nears, how can you tell if you're conversing online with a fervent supporter of a political candidate or a piece of software? And more interestingly, how do these social bots even work? We turn to USC Viterbi professor Emilio Ferrar, a research leader at the USC Information Sciences Institute, to explain. Ferrar says that a social bot is run by a puppet master who first steals a photo from online, two, gives it a fictitious name, three, clones biographical information from existing accounts, and four, creates a fake profile on Twitter or Facebook. With this new fake profile, a social bot can perform a number of activities that make it nearly indistinguishable from another human being, like tweet, retweet, share posts, comment, like candidates, follow other accounts, and engage in conversation. So what can we do and how do you detect a social bot? One giveaway is incessant activity. A social bot may ignore normal patterns of human life, tweeting constantly day and night. Another sign is a high number of tweets. 50 to 100 per day is the max that very active human users can produce. More than this is suspicious. Having disproportionately more followings than followers. Having mostly retweets and very few original posts. Having a very recent account creation date. Having a random looking Twitter username, often with plenty of digits or a series of random words. Focusing on only one topic of discussion, for example, politics and nothing else. And if you're still not sure, get some help from Professor Ferrara's bot detection algorithm at truthy.indiana.edu slash bot or not.